Hello everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 11 where I'm going to try out the V-Skylabs HE-162. This is a payware plane and it got me interested because it had the words test pilot next to the name and I fancy myself sort of a test pilot and it gave me a hint that maybe they were trying to be very accurate about this plane. And indeed the description says that they incorporated wide scale research and insights uh, from flying reports, testimonials, they focus on how it was supposed to actually work and uh, they have a flight manual that I did not read <laughs> because I, I intend to test something in particular uh, that is their comprehensive damage simulation. They say they have comprehensive damage simulation, highly detailed model and system simulation. So the best way to test that is of course to get things wrong. <laughs> we will. We will see if uh, things can go wrong. But this is the look of the plane. It was one of the early jet fighters, a World War II fighter. And I have chosen, of course, a civilian livery. Uh, taking a look at the liveries quickly, uh, we can see that this is, the, this is the bare metal one. There's a default one here. Uh, and there is also uh, this one in Soviet markings, it looks like. Uh, so, but... Even the default one does not have any uh, sort of twisted thing on the tail, it looks like, so that's good. So I generally avoid that like the plague. So, inside, well, outside we have uh, it looking like this. It's a little bit, I don't know, there's some artifacting going on on the body right now. So I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. But you can see that the exhaust has sort of burned part of the tail here. It's a little bit smooth, but the wing is uh, very fancy. Sort of rusty thing going on there. And it's passable. I got it on sale. I don't think I would pay full price for it. The tires are very nice though. I like the tires. Inside. The cockpit looks like this. We've got what seem like proper instruments. In fact, uh, zooming in here, uh, that's uh, that's pretty good right there. They took their time with that. And we do have a GPS thing here though. That's an addition. But otherwise, uh, very, very convincing. Okay. Uh, we can uh, quickly take a look at the flaps. This isn't a review review, I'm just trying to break the plane. <laughs> I mean, I have this thing where I want to fly one of each, uh, uh, every plane ever. And I'll take the best model I can get of it. And I haven't flown the HE-162 before. We're at Toulouse, by the way. I'm imagining that this is a captured plane. And the French are testing it out to... Uh, learn about it kind of thing. So, back in the cockpit. Uh, throttle up. Oop. This is interesting. Okay. That obviously didn't work. Releasing the brakes. Let's see what- I've got throttle back down. We obviously overdid it. What is that? Oh yeah, we got an engine fire. So that's good. I like engine fires. <laughs> Especially when they're on the ground. Okay, it still sort of worked uh, for, I mean, it provided some thrust despite being on fire. It's probably going to get worse though. Okay, this time I will not throttle up so vigorously. I'll go to 50%. We can see the temperature gauge uh, right there, so... And then a red line over here, so releasing the brakes. It's probably air cooled. I mean, well, of course it is. It's a jet engine, so. Okay, and then I'll smoothly bring it up from 50% to 75%. And then I'll uh, put a little bit more, but I'm not actually going to go to 100%. I don't have any flaps on right now. Uh, it's sort of nosing down, so I'm going to pull up.
Okay, let's see if I broke anything. It doesn't seem like it. Okay, gear up. So that's the landing gear retraction. Okay, let me get some trim in. Unfortunately, at France, I do not have the kind of... Oh, something happened. Something happened. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't know what happened. Uh, well, I did something wrong. Maybe I should have paid more attention to the cockpit. I'm gonna try and turn around and get the gear down. But I'm stalling here. I didn't get enough speed yet. Uh, no, I'm gonna just stall and crash. Uh. Okay, damage model. <laughs> okay, we lost part of the wing here. We lost the vertical stabilizers. We lost both parts of the wing, the parts where they uh, tipped down, they so snapped that. So, and again, that is obviously not all uh, a problem for this plane. These are all good things that are happening as far as it breaking. This, make, this pleases me immensely that it breaks. Okay, so um, we will stay in the cockpit this time so I can monitor the instruments instead of going outside. Uh oh. I throttled up halfway, but I think I might have taken too long? I think it's. Uh, maybe it's this leader thing. That I think I ran out of something and it's persistently run out of that. Oh, there's no fuel. <laughs> I don't know how. why it decided to start without fuel, but it's decided to start without fuel. Okay. By the way, we have a JTO uh, J fuel weight here. I don't think I'm gonna use the JTO, but uh, maybe we should check what the JTO key is in case we want to have some fun. Uh, Shift X. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We're we're we've got something cooking. I'll put a little bit of flaps on. I mean, cooking in a good way. Okay. Okay, 75%. And a little bit more than 75%. Nosing down, so I'll pull up. Okay. Gear up. I'm gonna pull it back a bit. Pull the flaps up. That's 75%. Alright, gear seems to be up properly. I think we're in business now. Okay, so that liter gauge is the fuel. It is, in fact, fuel, not like oil or something. Could have been oil, but it's not oil. But at 400 liters, I should have guessed so. Okay, I don't want to go too deep into it. Uh oh, something's happening. Um, we've got a persistent leftward turn. It hasn't given me any warnings. Uh, this is what happens when I let go of the stick. Oh, we lost the uh, flap. Well, I had the flaps retracted. I wasn't supposed to lose the flaps. That's not right. But 
Nice to see that you visually lose the flaps. Um, I'll just trim this out for now. They weren't joking about the comprehensive damage simulation. Okay, let me try and push it a little bit. I haven't gone to 100% throttle yet. I'm a little bit lighter now without the flap. Well, I'm pushing it to 100 now. And I'll keep an eye on the temperature. Good idea to get out beyond the city so that we can uh, land in a field somewhere if anything goes wrong. Ooh. It's twitchy. Ooh. So 800 kilometers per hour is 500 miles an hour. Um, at this altitude, I might not be able to get there. Also worth noting, it's not immediately apparent to me. I think the altimeter is this one. Yeah, that's the altimeter. It's got a barometer reading on it. Okay. Let's go higher then. Because I think at this low altitude, we can't uh, really get the full performance. There's some interesting aliasing on the body. I wonder why. Hold on. Graphics. Anti-aliasing is set pretty high. Only some angles, like this angle, there's aliasing. It's probably do, uh, some effect on the body. It gets aliased. Well, as I've been complaining about being at full throttle for a while, we're at... Uh, Oh, what is that? 14,000 feet, something like that. A little bit more than that, maybe 15. I've got the GPS here, it can tell me the ground speed. Only 322 knots? Okay, let's level out and try and get faster. It's tough though with the flap missing. That's probably causing some drag because we'll be hitting the air at sort of an angle. Interesting handling. 341. Now it says something about negative besh... I don't know what that is. 3 sec probably means 3 seconds. Not longer than three seconds is what negative something or not longer than three seconds sounds to me like negative G's. So I think we're gonna have to go inverted at some point just for fun. I mean, we could push it forward into a dive that'll produce negative G's too, but inverted is more fun. Um, I'm not getting this a whole lot faster than 342 right now. Knots. 342 knots. Alright, let's try the inverted thing. Inverted without a flap. Oh, uh, well. Red, red out is a good sign that you've got some negative G's going. Oh, we're going really fast too. Oh, there we go. It's conked out. Well, I think that's what that says. Okay, let's find a field somewhere and see how it does. Let, wow, it really dumps speed really quickly. It's got a lot of drag. I'm sure there might be a way to restart it. It's not flaming or anything. Doesn't sound great, mind you, but... Maybe this roadway is good? Gear down. Uh, does the landing gear go down? Yes, it does. 
Okay. Uh, flaps. Oh, there's a house. There's a house. Oh, and there's a lot of drag from the uh, flap issue. No! I shouldn't have lowered the flaps. Well, I think I'm in trouble. Flaming wreckage. This is much nicer. I explain 11, it hardly ever shows any sort of damage, you know? By default. You just sort of bounce into the ground. It might tell you you've crashed. Sometimes it doesn't. But there's good feedback as far as when you've messed up. Okay, as the last thing, I want to uh, test out the Jado. So let's start up. And this time I'll just take it from outside. Okay, Jado. No, Jado. Come on. There we go. I was only at 75% throttle on the jet. Let me see about the climb on this. Hopefully I won't have a flap issue this time. So, uh, let's see, we're already at 2,000 meters, 2,500 meters, climbing at nearly 300 kilometers per hour. That's only, oh, it seized up. We were at 130 knots, it says. I thought 300 kilometers per hour would be more than 130 knots, but maybe wrong. Yeah, I think we choked the engine. We were just going too slow with that climb. Okay. Can I make a go of landing on the highway this time? Come on, baby, you can do it. Don't crash! Ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh. Might be okay. Might be okay. Brakes! Oh, I'm on fire. Or did I just hurt a landing strut? Okay, I broke, uh, I broke a wheel. I burst another tire. That's nice. But we're safe. It did not burst into flames, see? So, it was good. Uh, it looks like I can't retract the flaps anymore. Oh, I did lose the outer bits of the wing though. So yeah, V Skylabs AG162. Lots of fun for the aspiring test pilot who likes to break, th break things. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.